Hi Aquarius, what's up? I hope you guys are keeping healthy and safe. Let's tune into your reading. Let's see what's happening in your love life for the week, Aquarius. Most important messages you need to hear right now. And uh, everything that is not visible to the eyes. Let's find out with the tarot. Aquarius, reverse the roles if needed. Switch the cases, but do not try to impose the reading on your situation, right? Aquarius, let's dive into your reading and see what's happening with you right now. Three of Pentacles. A lot of work, a lot of hard work, teamwork. I see somebody trying to impart quality into something. I see some discussions and negotiations happening. But this is surrounding something very delicate you're working over. I see people bringing in their own suggestions and opinion towards you. But you, you think that something is very delicate and that requires all your effort and focus. What well, can be a challenge? Yeah. So I see people trying to reach out to you, Aquarius, in this time period, and they're bringing all kind of opinions to you. But beware of the manipulative surroundings. Some people might be not that much trustworthy as you're thinking, or you know, I see you might not have any idea about the backgrounds of these people trying to contact you in this time period. But be careful of the mind games coming to. Oh my God! Yeah, this devil. I see a trap here. Someone wants to get something out of the situation and that's why something is unhealthy here. There's a trap. Okay, this is surrounding some connection. This can be um, that somebody is already in a relationship or struggling with some home situation here. This is home energy for me. Maybe this person has somebody very controlling at home or somebody narcissistic. But I think you're not aware of something like that you were focused somewhere else i guess okay let's see what's happening here let's see the background of the situation page of cups two of cups ten of wands okay an important love connection came to you in the recent past i see someone tried reaching out to you there was an apology about something this can be a, a call to reconcile maybe there was some conflict going on and you were avoiding a situation i see someone reached out to you because this person felt that there's something left between you both i see there was love there was compassion you did want to look backwards to this person you did want to know what's going on with them but because of some reason you felt that it's too much burden to deal with this person i see the recent past can be younger um, what a sign Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio tried reaching out to you and this person had a lot of love for you. I think this was uh, some confession of love, some emotional expression. I do feel that you did give time to this person, you did hear to them or you did try helping them. But you understood very quickly that the situation involves some major burdens which you can't help with. right? I see you were busy working over your own stuff and this person reached out to you at that time. They brought in some emotional conversation. I see this person is going through some hard time, Aquarius, and they want to talk to you about something. I see for a lot of you, this person wants a shoulder, ear to their problems, right? They, they want you to listen to them. Yeah, they're feeling abandoned. For some of you, I see you had a very intense connection with this person in past and you still have compassion for them, but you you feel it's heavy it's heavy to deal with them again or heavy to listen to what they're saying like we are five of pentacles this person feels abandoned and they were trying to cope up with it i see they were keeping their feelings as secret yeah okay let's see what's happening right now what's happening right now what can expect what can we expect next aquarius Ace of Cups, there is love, there is love, Three of Cups, and try it interesting, okay. For a lot of you, I see some situation ended in a burden, right? I don't really feel that you've dropped it completely. I see there is on and off conversation that happens between you and this person. Meanwhile, something fresh and beautiful is being presented to you. In the current situation, I see love reviving, flooding of emotions, emotional expression, I see rekindling, rejoicing, ace twice and thrice. So ace of cups, twice, uh, two of cups and three of cups. One, two, three is on the table. It's like one, two, three, go. And the go energy is the chariot energy here. Interesting. For some of you um, Aquarius, I see that in past, in past also this person tried reconciling with you or you tried reconciling with this person. But the situation 
ended with some burden. This time I see there is a call to fresh start. For a lot of you this can be a new love situation. You might be dropping the burden here. For the rest of you, if you're planning to work over the situation again, I see that there is a potential new start. There is reconciliation energy here if you want to reconcile with this person. And for a moment, this is going to be a green light. For a moment, this is going to be a green light for you. Yeah, they want reconciliation. I see they are calling you for starting afresh. And this is going to be a happy moment for you. I see you wanted to hear from this person. Though I do feel that you were actually busy with your own stuff, so you were not really uh, obsessing about it at all. Somewhere back in your mind, you were waiting for this person to reconcile or at least talk to you about something. And I see it's a good sign here. For some of you, I'm also getting a message that you felt that a cord is still connected and the burden is still there. Some past cord is still connected with this person and you wanted it to get sorted out. You wanted a closure, you wanted things to settle down. Whatever be the case, I see you kept one window open here. You kept one window open and I see this is that time where you where someone is going to come back from that window. Yep, I see this, per this person is creating some kind of independence. They're claiming independence. I see Page of Pentacles. I see strong water energy here. This person always had love for you. And uh, they want to tell you that I'm claiming independence from something. That's why I'm ready to work with you now. Yep, they have. They have something urgent to tell you I'm picking up. And in past, they also tried reaching out to you, but that situation ended in burden. But now, this time, they have a different outlook towards you and towards this connection. Advices in future. What future holds for this situation, this connection? Four of Pentacles, okay. The Death and the Nine of Wands. Aquarius, I see that somewhere in your energies, you're not completely ready to open up to what they're saying. Yep, Hierophant. I see this person is quite serious. They want a commitment. They want to talk about it. They want to talk about... For someone, I heard that they were in some emotional situation in past and they were sitting with those emotions. They didn't have anybody to talk about it. They're coming towards you. They feel that some soulmate connection is reviving when they talk to you, when they are around you. They feel good. They feel happy. They want to talk to you about what things uh, were happening in their surroundings, what was going on in their connection. Their ex-connection, maybe, I heard for some of you. They want to tell you about that and they want to talk about it, Aquarius. But for a lot of you, I see that you're not opening up to it. There is some kind of resistance in your energies. You don't want to share something with this person. For some of you, the situation might call for some financial investment for which you're not ready right now. For the rest of you, it's just about some kind of money thing involved in the picture. And if it's not money, it may be emotions. For some of you, you know, I'm actually picking up that this person is bringing up all the emotions of past. They want to sort out everything. They want to bring clarity regarding everything you be, you both have been through. And for a lot of you, I see that there were emotions. There's undeniable emotion in the situation. This person had a lot of love for you. Okay, near future, what we can expect next. I see that you are somehow not ready to open up to the situation, this connection or this proposal being offered to you. For a lot of you, I also heard that this is a work situation and you're working over something dedicatedly, it's a new project. Meanwhile, the ex-colleagues I heard or the people <coughs> who have worked with you before, they want to get a chance here. They want to work with you either on this project or otherwise they want you to be a part of some other project. I see you not opening up. In the beginning, you might feel that it's workable. You might feel a little excited also. You'll feel that it's a re rekindle energy and I can work with this person. But eventually I see it's not the case. You might realize that I'm not ready for it. For some reason, I'm, I'm feeling Aquarius that you might turn a little defensive while dealing with the situation. Nine of Wands shows me that your def defenses might turn very high. You are going through some inner transformation here. There's some change happening. And for a lot of you, this is this new thing that you're working over. And that's why you want this thing to shift, right? I don't know whether you completely want it to end or you just want time. You want time in the situation. Both ways, I see that you want some change. Until the time that change is happening or that change happens, I see you are holding back. You're going to hear from this person, but you, you'll be holding back. I see you've already heard from this person. They're calling for a fresh start here. 
What are you working over? <clears throat> what are you working over here? Oh, three of pentacles clarified by three of pentacles. Yes, I see that in past you were looking for a direction which was missing light direction. There was some kind of darkness. And at that time, you were not getting the support of these people here. You were not getting their support. And now when yeah, you kept on waiting for some replies some messages and I think it didn't come up maybe the person you were dealing with that person was adamant but you were not getting a response and now when you have opted for your own decision your own direction and your own project or your own love situation whatever you are deciding here to work over and there's some kind of delicacy involved in the picture now they want to talk now they're bringing in something let me see what are they bringing in for a lot of you this was love a lot of you this was love they want to work over a partnership what are they bringing in yeah, they're bringing in regrets. This person regrets that in the first go it didn't work out. I see this was a theme in some previous reading for Aquarius as well this month. Yeah, someone is regretting that you are opting a new direction here, that you don't want to work with them or you found something else. They regret it. And now they're bringing in past what you've, what you've experienced with them. They want to talk. Yeah, they want to tell you that. It's been hard it's been hard recovering from you because no other option appears to be like you and this is you this is you shining bright in the sky you're having your own direction Aquarius probably probably it's late okay so let's see what is this burden they're bringing back I see this person wants to apologize because they still have love for you so what is this burden along with that why is this package there knight of swords okay there is anger i see someone was angry or someone wants to come in rushing and tell you that they still have feelings for you i see this person was in some kind of commitment which was based on materialism or maybe they were forced to get into some kind of connection and the basis was materialism they were not very happy in that connection yeah i see they were they were trying to find out love they were trying to find out love but the connection was based on materialism they were not happy Aquarius. I'm quite sure that in past this person was not happy. So for some of you I see that in the current situation what, what, what the current thing is going on either they're calling calling to start afresh and you'll be happy about it you might go to see this person you might meet this person over coffee I do see a date or simply just talk, talking over a coffee that kind of uh, environment here you might get a call in the beginning you might get ready you might get ready to sit with them talk to them but there is something behind the scenes which this person is not aware of because of which you're holding back can be money situation for some of you i see you defending your money because in past when this person reached out to you they caused some kind of emotional as well as financial thing to you i don't know if that was a loan or <clears throat> they borrowed money from you and they didn't return something like that happened in the past and you don't want to get trapped again there is something surrounding money also so why are you holding back and why you're not opening up to this person what do you see here okay yes yes okay for a lot of you i see that you're resisting because you feel that i'm emotionally and financially stable now emotionally and financially stable now and i've been through my own epiphanies for some of you i see especially when it comes to financial matters aquarius you guys have been through some kind of epiphany recently and that was accompanied by some tower moment moment can be taurus virgo capricorn for some of you very few of you i'm picking up that you found somebody new three of cups can be third party also you found somebody new and that is a taurus virgo capricorn quite emotionally financially and mentally stable i also heard that this person is in a good sound space right now and they came in as somebody who turned a lot of things that was a that was a very huge turning point or maybe for some of you this person is arriving very soon i see this is near future so leo earth sign energy emotionally 
stable or other way around you found somebody who is emotionally stable and this person is providing you some kind of uh, emotional stability you feel a change here you feel a change from within that's the reason why you don't want to open up to this person two of cups is showing up again and again the situation definitely surrounds some intense love situation but for a lot of you i see that there is some shift happening within you because of which you don't want to give another person a chance somebody a chance here what is nine of wands and why are you resisting this why are you resisting this ace of swords you're getting the clarity you're moving on oh and queen of wands oh okay i get the scene so aquarius i see in the near future you were holding back because there was a corner which said that there is some clarity missing right now some facts are missing some truth is missing Maybe the dots are there, but they're not well connected. You felt that there is something missing in the situation, some truth is missing. And that's why probably you didn't want to give this person a 100% chance because you were dicey about it. But the clarity you needed is coming in very soon. And that is going to be such that you might simply cut something out from your life and start something fresh. Because for a lot of you, I see you might not be completely sure about giving this person a second chance. Six of Swords shows me that you're walking past this energy. I see water energy and earth energy. These might be two people in your surroundings, but I see very strong water energy in your surroundings who wants a second chance with you. But this person is coming in with a baggage which you don't want. For some of you, I also heard that I already have a lot of responsibilities. I don't want to add on to it. So that, that can be one of the reasons why you're releasing this situation and walking past with your personal stuff. And you're turning into Queen of Wands, my God. You are turning into a different person now, Aquarius. I see that this incident is going to bring in some kind of confidence in your energies. Because sometimes when old people return in our life, some old flames, some soulmates, some, some people who, with whom we have shared some good time, these people bring back some good memories, right? Maybe we're not in that stage anymore or in that state mental state anymore to give that person a second chance and be with them again maybe we are committed we're seeing somebody else or we just don't want to deal with them anymore you know it's, it's a personal choice free will but when these people come back they bring back some good memories along with that along with the bad memories so i see this person coming back is going to bring in some good memories to you and that is going to cause some inner epiphany so you might feel like keeping your options open, you might feel like going out and exploring options again, dating somebody, feeling passionate again about something or simply if this is some, pro some important project going on, maybe you were losing interest from something and suddenly from the past is going to come back. That will be the moment where you will feel some kind of value within you coming back. And at that moment, I see that some passion is going to revive. Right? I don't know whether it is in this connection or in general in your life, but some passion is going to revive. And that will be the moment where you will be in that go-getter energy again. Right? So I, I do see some very positive developments toward, towards the end. I'm, I'm quite not sure that you're going to give this person another chance or not. For a lot of you, I see spilled cups. So maybe this person is getting that realization now that I missed a chance with Aquarius. But probably you don't want it anymore. You might cut it out and move on. You know your worth, Aquarius. You know your worth and you know what you are capable of. Okay, let's have an advice for Aquarius. You and your loved ones are safe. I see this is that responsibility, that, that thing that you're carrying along. You are more concerned about your personal space and your people. Luck is on your side. Interesting. Don't let your past hold you back. For a lot of you, I see a new, a new love connection is impending. But the past cycle that has to be released before you enter into a now into a new love connection in your life don't let this past energy hold you back i do feel this person has still compassion for you and they're going to try again but for a lot of you i see something better is waiting for you and you are giving that new situation a chance you're, you're feeling very attractive you're feeling very passionate you might simply not let the past situation hold you back here so these are the messages i have for you aquarius thank you so much guys for watching Bye bye